Welcome back to Excel Athlete Fitness. This is going to be part two of our attempt to make a, a training program using Excel. What we looked at in the first video was setting up a few lists and using data validation. This time we're just going to look at a couple of more advanced features of data validation, edit a couple of name ranges and just tidy things up a little bit. So if you recall, one of the real key things that we did last time was to allow you to pick exercises from a list. So here, if we click on this cell, we can pick from any of these lower body exercises. However, what you may find is that you want to slightly edit an exercise. Some of these exercises may have a dozen or so very minor variations, and you don't want to have these lists that are hundreds of exercises long. So what I might decide to do is just type in here. However, when I do so, I get an error message that says this exercise is not in the list. And my only choice really is to cancel and to pick something from the list or leave it as back squat. However, I can modify these data validation settings to allow me to do all sorts of little tailorizations. So, the first thing to do is select the entire range here that we've got this validation in. Click Data, Data Validation. There are two tabs that we haven't looked at so far. This is the one we've checked out. We haven't looked at the Input Message or Error Alert tabs. On the Input Message page, I've already entered a little message in here. When I check this box, now anyone who uses the spreadsheet will get a little bit of help and advice when they start clicking inside cells. So I'm just going to look at this thing first of all. As you can see, any of these cells that I pick, I now get this little pop-up window that says select exercise from the list. Now if you're the only user of this spreadsheet, that type of data validation tip isn't really going to be useful and it may actually be a little bit more annoying than anything else. So I'm just going to turn that off. But if you're making something for another user, it can be very helpful to have these little input messages. The second thing that I want to look at, and the most important thing, is that I want to look at the style of error. At the moment, the style says stop, and you can see the big red X here. I can change that, however, to one of these other two options. If I choose information, and then OK, What we will find is that if I type the same thing as I did before, I still get a little error message, but it's just telling me that, hey, this exercise is not on the list. You can say, yep, that's fine, and it'll let you do it. So really quite useful if you did have 10 different deadlift variations and you didn't want to have deadlift appearing so many times in your list. Great. Next thing to have a look at is editing a named range. What I find often is here we've got three sets of eight. That may be a little bit boring. You may actually want the first set to be ten reps, the next set to be eight, and the next set to be six. You know, an old-fashioned pyramid style. If we just use a drop-down box like this, we can't do that. So we need to expand our list and edit it a little bit. Here we are in our list page, and this is the column of reps that we've entered so far. What I want to do first of all is edit a cell here and make it text. The reason I want to do that is by default it'll be uh, formatted as general. And so if I decide to do what I thought I'd try before. 10, 8, 6 for example. It thinks I'm trying to enter a date and it converts it for me. People spend hours with this type of frustration when they're working with Excel but it's really just a simple format. So I'm just going to select a whole bunch of cells here and up the top here I'm going to select text. So if I select text now and I type the same thing as I did a second ago, 
it leaves it as it is because it no longer sees that as a date it knows that you're not trying to do that you're trying to enter some text so I've got some example rep systems already pre prepared I'm just going to paste them in now and now what I want to do is just modify the name range so that it includes those inside it click on formulas then name manager and here are our named ranges that we created in the first video. Find the one called reps. At the moment it only goes down to row 23 from J4 to J23. We want to change that so we can do it a couple of ways but this is the easiest. Click on this little icon here. It'll show you what's currently selected. I'm going to drag down to the bottom of our new list. Great, now when we go over, I could choose those things. Let's say I want 1088. Great, so there's a little bit more ability now to just make it look how you like it. So in any of these particular drop down boxes, you can create lists of things that are exactly what you like to see. And that way, things become easier and consistent for you. Two more things I'm going to do before we finish. Just going to select all the cells at the bottom. I'm going to go merge and center. And I'm going to select a whole bunch more and go merge and center. Put a little box around it. If I use the keyboard shortcut Control 1, it opens up the Format Cells dialog box. Under Alignment, if I choose Left and Top and Wrap Text, what we'll find is down in this Comments and Notes box, we can write some stuff in it. It doesn't look a bit strange. So I might write a note such as, similarly, I'm just going to insert a couple of rows up the top here. And in this first row, I'm going to type phase. And in the second row, I'm going to type workout days, day, and so on and so on. So you're now ready to do a little bit more building. I'm sure there are many different options you might like to include, such as um, an order or a tempo. So let's try and do one of those things. If I click on B at the top here, right click, insert. What it's going to do is insert a blank column. That's a little bit big for what I want but I can change the width of it any way I like. I know a lot of people like to specify the exact way that their workout is done. So that order is something that a lot of people like to use. I'm sure there are plenty of different things you would like. You can do it the same way. Insert a new column, add some data validation, create a new list, and so on. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be back soon with another video, so stay tuned.